everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new then hi, welcome, it is so nice to meet you. As you can see by the title today I am doing some slow cooker recipes. I've been asked so many times on Instagram to do more recipe videos and slow cooker videos so that's exactly what I've done. So I've shown you some of my favourite recipes that I love to do. They're so easy and so super yummy. I've got four dinner recipes and then at the end I'm going to show you how to make a really, really scrummy yummy cookie dough in the slow cooker it is so good it is so good you will you will thank me <laughs> but let's get on to the video okay so to start off with we've got a really lovely creamy garlic chicken pasta dish so you've obviously got your chicken you need some butter some mixed herbs some garlic pepper salt some single cream some cheese an onion and a chicken stock this is really yummy and you'll see later that all of us love it. To start off with, cut up your onion as small or big chunks as you would like and then just bung it in the slow cooker. And then the same with your chicken, our kids are going to be eating this as well so I'm making sure to cut it into small kid size friendly chunks. Here I'm just adding my pepper, I do like a lot of pepper in my food, I just think it makes it taste so tasty. So. As you can see, I'm adding plenty. The same with the garlic. I'm not measuring it. I'm just bunging it in because I love, I love my garlic. Then add some mixed herbs. Yum, yum, yum. A little bit of salt. And you want half of the cream. You need 150 millilitres of the cream and then 300 millilitres of chicken stock. Yes, I'm using a baby bottle because one of the kids broke our jug. So using what we've got. Then just give it a really good stir. Make sure it's all mixed together and then cook in the slow cooker for two and a half hours on high or on low for four hours. I cooked ours on high, so after two and a half hours I added the pasta and then added some cheese. I just added a bowl full, I never, I never measure out my cheese, so literally just a bowl full. Give it all a good stir and a dollop of butter. I'm so bad at judging pasta, I added some more because I thought I'm feeding four of us. We all have a big appetite, so more pasta went in and then just stir, stir, stir. And then cook the pasta on high for 25 minutes or until it's cooked. As you will see, it is lovely and creamy. I'm dishing us all up a big bowl. The kids absolutely demolish it. As you'll see in the next video, they absolutely love it. I just sprinkle some coriander on top. I always do this with my meals because I think it looks nice and it just tastes nice too. And there you have it. Looking at this is making me so hungry. I just, I just want to eat it all again now. It is so nice. It's really yummy and it's really simple to do and the whole family love it. Do you want some dinner? I want you want dinner? On there. On there, yeah. Wow. Wow. Straight in there. Mmm. <laughs> Do you like it? Is it yummy? Mmm. Huh? More? Go on then. And would you like some? Oh yeah. So yummy. Um. Mm. Next is some super yummy meatballs. We need some cheese, obviously some meatballs. We've used 24 to be precise, but we are a family of four. You'll need some red wine, two tins of chopped tomatoes, some coriander. I use that in literally everything. And same with garlic, everything has garlic in. Some mustard, some black pepper, some chives, a beef stock and two onions. You don't have to use two, but I just think it gives it a lovely, lovely flavour and some tomato puree. Again, this is so easy to do and so yummy. So the same as before, chop up your onion however you want and then just bung it in. Just chuck it in. This hasn't got to be in any like precise order, just shove it all in. <laughs> so just add your meatballs, all 24 of them. <laughs> Then I add my chopped tomatoes. I always put a little bit of water in to shake. Shake all the juices, make sure I get it all out of the tin and get your money's worth, get all the flavour and juice out. Add your stock cube. Then add your seasonings. You don't have to add as much as I do. You can add more if you want or you can add less. Just do whatever you would like, but this, this is just what I do. So I've added some garlic. Now going to add the chives, I've added two teaspoons, uh, sorry, tablespoons of garlic and two tablespoons of coriander. And then add two tablespoons of mustard. I made a right old job of this. 
I made such a mess. One minute it wasn't coming out, the next minute too much came out. So yeah, just don't do that. Just ignore that. <laughs> then add two tablespoons of your chives. You can see that little Ellie's feet in the background. <laughs> And then I just added one tablespoon of tomato puree. You can add more if you want, but I just, I just added the one. And then one tablespoon of your seasoning. I've used turmeric, I think. That's the only thing we had in the cupboard. I'm only using one tablespoon because I don't like anything too spicy. Add as much as you want. Then you want 200 milliliters of your red wine. Again, using a baby bottle because broken jug. <laughs> you haven't got to add the wine. I just think it gives it a really nice, rich lovely flavour. Then add your cheese, again I haven't measured, just, just a bowl full and then give it a good stir. You then want to cook this on high for four hours, it'll make your whole house smell so nice. Then when it's done, as soon as you open that lid, oh the smell, it's amazing. Then I just serve it with some rice, it'd be nice with pasta, it'd be nice with anything. Sprinkle some coriander on top because I always do that and some pepper and there you go. Looks lovely, tastes lovely, mm. but yeah, it'd be lovely with pasta, it'd be like a spag bowl type thing, but I just fancied some mice. Alrighty, the next is really easy, it's just some gammon in the slow cooker. I'm using Fanta, but it's also really nice with Coke as well. I find the Fanta just makes it taste really sweet and really nice. I used to do this all the time when I was at work, just put it on, leave it all day while I'm at work, you come home and it smells gorgeous. I'm cooking mine on low for seven hours and then serving it with eggs and sweet chips. Sweet chips is so easy, just cut it up into chip shapes and then cover with oil and seasonings. I put mine in the microwave under the potato setting just to sort of pre-cook it and then just plug it in the oven for about 40 minutes. So simple and easy yet so yummy. Okay, so next we have a chilli. I always use 5% fat mince, just always do. Then you need some mushrooms, I'm using two onions again just to give it more flavour, some tomato puree, two peppers, a stock cube, I didn't actually use the chickpeas in the end so ignore that, I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes, some kidney beans, some sweet corn, oh love sweet corn, some onion chutney, some pepper, some mixed spice and of course some garlic. You don't have to use all these ingredients but I find the more ingredients you use the longer it will last and who doesn't love leftovers? And it's also extremely yummy with all these ingredients minus the chickpeas. <laughs> you know the drill by now, cut up your onions to however big or small you would like. I'm using the whole pack of mushrooms, look how weirdly shaped this one is. <laughs> But yeah, I just cut them up. I like quite chunky mushrooms. Now because I've got so many ingredients, I'm actually cooking these to shrink them down. If not, everything won't fit into the slow cooker. So I'm just going to shrink these and then put them in. Use whichever colour peppers you would like. My favourite are the red and the orange and the yellow. I just think the green can be quite bitter. So yeah, chop them up and bung them in. Again with the chopped tomatoes, put a bit of water in, shake it and then get all the juices in there, get all the flavour. And then add your mince. As before, I do this in no particular order. You might want to add the mince first, but in the end it just all gets mixed together anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure that it's all mixed really well, so all the flavours are all mixed together. Add your kidney beans. I love kidney beans so much. And the sweet corn, again, sweet corn, sweet corn is life, I don't know what it is, but I just, I love the stuff. Add your garlic, just as much as you want, loads in my case, and loads of pepper. And then I'm just adding one tablespoon of the mixed spice, because again, I don't like anything too spicy, and the kids are going to be eating this as well. Then add your beef stock cube and your chutney. Before I ever first done this recipe, I'd never tried this chutney, and oh, it is so good, and it gives it such such good flavour. Add the tomato puree, didn't measure it, just whatever you think. And then add the cooked mushrooms, now they've shrunk down a little bit, and mix it all together, make sure it's mixed really well. All of us love this, this recipe, this dinner, even the little ones. Leo absolutely scoffed, a huge bowl full, so did Nevea. But yeah, cook it on low for seven hours. This is another dish that'll make your whole house smell so good, you'll be hungry for the whole day smelling this. Our dog Ellie, she was going nuts. And then again, serve with coriander and some grated cheese. 
conserve of rice or jacket potato, I actually had it on its own. And there you have it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Goes down a treat. Talking about treats, the last thing I'm going to show you is a real treat. It's slow cooker cookie dough. The shops didn't have any chocolate chips, so I'm making my own, just chopping up 100 grams of chocolate. Then add 100 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of flour. We only had self raised flour, so that's what we used. And then 50 grams of butter. I actually got exactly 50 grams first go. How good is that? I was so impressed with myself. And then you'll want 30 grams of milk, one egg, and then add your chocolate chips, including all the crumbs. Don't you dare waste any of that chocolate. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and now it's time to get messy. Now it's time to mix it all together. I'm not a big fan of getting messy. It all gets stuck to your fingers, but at the end of the day, you get yummy cookie dough, so it is worth it. Just mix it all together until you get a nice, a nice big ball of dough. And then what you'll want to do is get some foil or some baking paper. I put some butter, smother some butter on there. It's to stop it sticking. So add your foil, add your butter, then add your cookie dough and just spread it out so it like spreads evenly. And that's it. All you want to do is cook that in the slow cooker for two and a half hours on high. Again, it will make your house smell so nice. And look how good that looks when it's cooked. Oh, I just want some right now. So nice, so yummy. As you'll see, it turns out looking a little bit like a cake, but it's fine because we actually warm ours up in the microwave for about 30 seconds and serve with ice cream, as you'll see in a minute. I suppose less flour you use, the more sticky sort of it will be, but we like it like this. Cut it up into chunks and then, oh, look at that. Warm up the cookie dough and serve with ice cream and there you have it. It's gorgeous. As they say, naughty but nice, but we all need a treat sometimes. Okay, so that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoy the meals just as much as we do. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you were to do that now. Let me know if you try any of the recipes and what you think. I'm sure you will love all of them because they're so tasty. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!